If you are looking for something to watch this weekend, East People's Choice Awards are being held Sunday, and the host is Demi Lovato. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like everything else this year, the ceremony will look a little different, and I got the chance to catch up with her before the big night. For many, Demi Lovato is a reminder of their childhood as they watched her rise to fame on Disney Channel's Camp Rock. Are you excited? <laughs> a little. Okay, a lot, yes, major. And it was no surprise she soon broke into the music scene, taking the stage by storm. Now the Grammy-nominated singer is undertaking a new challenge as host of the People's Choice Awards this Sunday. Tell me when you first sat in that audience like 10 years ago, could you ever have thought like one day I'm going to be on that stage running the whole show? I think my first time at the People's Choice Awards, I was performing. And it was one of the first times I ever performed at an award show on the main stage. And I could see people in the audience that I really, really respected and admired. And I was just, I was so nervous. You started your year, uh, what a year it's been, performing, singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. And then this is the way you're closing. What has this year been like for you? This year. <laughs> I don't know how anybody can answer that question, honestly, because it's been such a roller coaster. I mean, honestly, for me, my the beginning of the year started out. I was on this trajectory to have a, you know, pretty eventful career, and I was planning my comeback, releasing the album. And honestly, what I can say is thank God that I didn't release the album when I wanted to, because I had so much to experience. I think the most important thing that I've learned is how much I am okay with myself and loving myself. And Demi has come a long way, going public about everything from her diagnosis with bipolar disorder to battling personal demons, including her struggle with bulimia and substance abuse. It's one thing to live with struggle, because a lot of people do, but it's another thing to decide that it isn't just your story to carry, that you want to share it with others. And I wonder, like, when did you make that decision? I wish that I could have had a different, a, a third option in there that was like, maybe wait a little bit to tell your story. You know, like, we'll keep it private for now. There's something really commendable about people that own up to their faults and then learn from it and show others how to get through it. And I wanted to be that for someone. When somebody says, your story made my story better, like, what goes through your mind? Sometimes my fans say things to me that are unfathomable, like you've saved my life. Ultimately, they are the ones that have saved their own lives. And I, and I want to reinforce that strength in each individual fan of mine. I'm sure you've read about mental health and addiction during this pandemic. So for somebody that's watching that may be like, oh, I just need a lifeline, um, what would you say to them? I would say explore. I would say explore because it wasn't until this year that I really started exploring with things that make me, that bring joy to my life in little ways. Like I got into photography. I just started taking pictures on my iPhone of flowers, on my dog, <laughs> simple things that it's like, that ended up bringing me a lot of joy. So you kind of have to keep stimulating yourself in order to just become the best version of yourself. For Demi, her music is her outlet. Writing her latest hit, Still Have Me, about the end of her most recent relationship. Why was it important, I mean, in a time where you probably are still raw, to put out that song? When I write my songs, when I go into the studio and record them, um, it's actually, like, it's a very cathartic and therapeutic experience for me. And so anytime I go through something, um, especially when I don't say things publicly or comment on certain situations. I just let my music comment on it. And that's actually as far as I'll comment on that situation. Yeah, another song that Hoda and I can't stop listening to is Confident. When do you feel the most confident? You know, I feel like I have the most confidence when I'm working on myself. I'm reading so many books, like at once, which has never happened. I'm not a reader. That's when I feel the most confident is when I feel like my smartest self. I mean, I would say smart is pretty sexy, right? <laughs> <Thank Acknowledge. you. laughs> my Thank grandma you. used to have a, a pillow that said reading is sexy, and I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. So going back to hosting, I think you guys are honoring Tracy Ellis Ross, J-Lo, Tyler mm -hmm. Perry, all of these 
incredible artist. How many sort of pinch me moments do you feel like you're gonna have up there on that stage? Oh, you know, I think just honestly, the biggest pinch me is like, I'm so glad that I'll be on a stage at all this year. I count my blessings every day that like I've, I've been able to stay safe when that hasn't been a case for a lot of people. So my biggest pinch me is just being alive on a stage. Oh, beautiful, Isn't beautiful, lover, lover. You can catch Jimmy on the People's Choice Awards this Sunday night at 9, 8 Central on our sister network, E. You know, uh, she said so many cool things, Hoda, mm. about making sure that others know that, like, there is this hope. She started meditating, mm. and she said, and I love this, she never feels alone, and she's mm. never bored oh. because she can go and breathe and be. And I thought that, you know what, anybody that's trying to continue to spread positivity is a is brave in our eyes. And facing all these challenges, being going through all this stuff while in a pandemic. And really young. Yeah. I mean, Good she for was her. sober before she was able to drink. Yeah. She was sober at 19. Yeah. She suffered a relapse, but she said, you know, she shared that mm -hmm. so that other people who know how hard addiction is cannot feel so alone. Yeah. Loved listening to her. All right.